Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the movie trivia showdown. It is the exhibition matches, and already we are firing off some great ones. And I am Christian Harloff, joined once again with Mark Baby Carrots Ellis. Mark, this is another really good one here, the new release championship. Yeah, Christian, the match uh, reflects the quality of my outfit. This is going to be a barn burner match with some Schmodown competitors that we're very familiar with. As, as You also have some old favorites that are coming back. The big question on the tip of everyone's tongue, Christian, will Dewey the deputy cat make an appearance? I don't think. I don't think so. I, I, don't, I don't know if he made the trip to the East Coast. Maybe he did. I have no idea. But we are, of course, talking about the reigning movie trivia Schmodown new release champion that is Perry, Scary Perry. Perry Nemiroff making her return. And Perry, even though you talked to her, she's like, oh, you know, Schmodown, I'm so competitive, but I don't know. I didn't. I, she, had a, she had a run with tough beats that didn't go her way. But, but Exhibition, she's been lights out. Jurassic Park, new releases. She is awesome. And Perry is one of the most competitive people that I know. So I know even though this is for fun, Perry's coming in to scrap. And against some scrappers. She's, of course, going against the kid, Brendan Meyer, who she also went up against last time they competed in this exhibition match. But the kid has had an electric run in the, in the big league. He he did really well in the free-for-all, obviously, last year. He did very well in the singles tournament. And then he won the team's tournament. So he's he's no longer the, the rookie kid. He's, he's, a, he's a pro. Yeah, look, I mean, he, he came in to the league, uh, a wide-eyed, fresh-faced young man who's never grown one inch of facial hair in his life. And although he still struggles with the facial hair part of the equation, his partner, who has a lot of facial hair, William Viviani, kind of helped ingratiate him into the showdown, and then he's become a fan favorite. And Christian, I think that when you talk about fan favorite, you can't get too far in the conversation without bringing up a guy who is very, very dangerous. That's right. Dangerous Dan Merle, Mark. He is the reigning movie trivia Schmodown teams champion. He's the reigning singles champion. Is the four-time singles champion. Is he is the he's defended each championship numerous amounts of time. He is a he's a legend, and he's already played in an exhibition match here. And this is the thing with Dan, as you have seen if you've been on this tier, that Dan didn't win. He didn't win in that championship match. And I get I, like I said with Perry, even though we know it's fun. Dan's coming in with blood on his mouth. He's ready. He's ready to eat. He is a shark and he is ready to win again. I know him. Even though he's going to come in smiling, he wants to win. And That'd he's be a really weird sight gag if he actually had a bloody mouth for this match. He probably would. But he is, I'm telling you, he is, he's very much like Perry. The two of them, they see everything. They see everything, especially now. I mean, Perry, every screening that I would go to, Perry would be there. Every screening I wasn't at, Perry would be there. Perry is there. So is Dan. They're both at every single movie. They're both part of the uh, the, 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 crit the Critics' Choice Awards, if you guys know. The, it's the BFCA. Both members of that. They are accredited by uh, the MPAA. They are, they, are, they are part of Rotten Tomatoes. All of these things. They are very respected in the film community. Brendan yes, Meyer. Christian, how many selfies with Julia Roberts did they get at the Critics' Choice Awards? I'll tell you what, Perry took that picture. That shows you exactly. Sure. Yes, Perry took that picture. So, wow. yes, so that's what I'm talking about. Perry is there every single moment she's there. I feel like Perry has been, even though Perry hasn't been in every match, I bet you Perry has been there for every match. We just haven't seen her. Um, that's very true. Now, there is one wild card. And we don't know if that wild card is going to show up by the time we make the announcements. That's the way that this is going to run today. The former champion, the former champion, someone who Dan Merle is very familiar with, primetime Paul Oyama. The shark. The sh if, if be deemed by you and Marquia, yes, I guess he's the shark. But uh, he is primetime Paul Oyama. He is supposed to compete. He was supposed to be here at the, at the allotted time. If he doesn't get here by the time we announce his name, it's only going to be a triple threat instead of a set of four. So uh, it's like third grade. It's it's like by the time we call roll and do the pledge of allegiance, you better be here or it's an absent. Yeah. So you guys are going to have to find out if Paul Oyama shows up. If it's a fatal four or if it's a triple threat, we'll find out in just a second. But Mark, new release, fatal four way perhaps for the championship here. What do you think is going to happen? I mean, look, it's it's a really tough time for new releases, Christian. I, I dare say we're not going to get a lot of movies released in the month of March, but new releases, as far as the Schmodown is concerned, are generally the last year, maybe a little bit longer. 12 to 18 months is usually the as far back as we would go with new releases. So no worry, Mark. There's a, there's a full category just on Tiger King that will be on the actual uh, second round. So don't yeah. worry. 
about that. I would like to thank uh, the, the Schmodown Queen legend, Leanne Lakota, for putting me in Tiger King due to the magic of Photoshop. Right. But I think that if you're looking at somebody who watches movies daily, who lives, breathes, eats, eats this stuff, I'm looking at Perry Nemiroff maybe as the favorite, but I think any one of these other competitors could swim up and steal that thunder. That's right. Well, it was Perry and Brendan toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe in the last one, but that didn't have Dan in it. So let's see what happens. Mark, you ready to go? I am pumped. The jacket is ready. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Movie Trivia Schmodown. Five rounds for the Movie Trivia Schmodown new release, Exhibition Championship. Introducing first, representing Shazam. He is the 2019 Ultimate Schmodown team winner, the kid, Brendan Meyer. Look at it. Hey, hey the kid, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm going to be alive in Canada. It's good. It's good. Snow outside. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's not, it was not, yeah. I was laying in my backyard with the sun on my face today. It's cold. You don't want to go outside anyway. No. no. Uh, Brendan, I have a quick question before we get going here with our next competitor. How is homeschooling then? <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I already graduated. I'm back, but I am back in my old school. Yes. Very nice. <laughs> good to have you, bud. All right. And I'm, an I'm an alumni. <laughs> is opponent representing swag. He is the former movie trivia Schmodown singles champion, primetime Paul Oyama. Oyama made it. Oyama made it. I'm just on prime time. I don't know about this late business, but uh, here we are, ready to play. You are. It's not, it's not like the Roka match all over again. It's like, are you coming or not? <laughs> I should have hobbled out. I should have like hobbled out from off screen. How are you, man? Uh, it's good. Uh, it's pretty hot. So I was I was out there doing some chores today, and I, I realized the time, uh, and I was like, oh, maybe I should start playing this match. So let's go. <laughs> it's not snowing hey, out there, huh? All right. no. Yeah, Christian, do we already give Paul a point because he's clearly beaten Brendan in uh, vacation destination? Yeah. <laughs> he's absolutely just chilling. I'm telling you, every time I, I just, every, anyone mentions Paul Oyama, I, I get jealous because I want to be in Hawaii right now. Mm -hmm. All right, and their opponent. He is the reigning team's champion, the reigning singles champion. He is Dangerous Dan Merle. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Christian, for pointing out my bloody mouth. I, had to, I don't know why I didn't clean that up before the show. That would have been embarrassing. Uh, Did that happen in the four-way yesterday? Is that what's happened to me? Uh, oh, yeah. Well, you missed it. You missed the setup. Oh, uh, I look forward to an inner geekdom-style deep dive into Gretel and Hansel in this new release match. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have Dan, we have Primetime, we have the kid. It's a it's it's a rematch of sorts between all these guys, but mm. their opponent, she is the reigning, defending movie trivia schmodown exhibition new release champion, Scary Perry Nemiroff. They're all oh, doing. Uh. <laughs> we made it. Do we made the fifth entrance? <laughs> Hopefully that's the one and only Dewey appearance in this video, because otherwise something is going to crash and burn over here. No chance. No chance that's his only appearance. He's going to jump. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if he jumped on primetime somehow. <laughs> I I would believe in him. <laughs> All right, guys. So here we are. We have the setup. We have the new release. The champion is here. Five rounds. Mark, let's get into round number one. How does it go? Uh, round number one, Christian, is going to play like a normal round number one. There are six questions, however, in in round number one from different categories of new releases. As soon as we ask you a question, you have something to write with and something to write on, you can write down your best attempt at an answer. You got about 15 seconds to do so. Once we address you by name, please show what you wrote on your heap of tablet, whatever you have with you, to the camera at the same time you verbalize your answer into the microphone. Each question is worth one point. There's no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round number one. Each competitor has three usages of the JTE rule throughout the duration of the five round match. And you also each have one challenge and Dewey also has one challenge to be used. <laughs> All right, so then we will start with Perry. Are you ready? That I am. Dan, are you ready? Oh, you know it. Paul? You're in my world now, boys. Set your time. <laughs> and then you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> then let's get ready to Schmodown. That's right, five rounds, guys. Here we go. Question number one in the realm of new releases, guys. Comedies. Com <laughs> very nice, very nice. Comedies, everybody. 
Who plays the lead, Jake Carson, in the family comedy Playing With Fire? Yeah, like a very ill-timed release, that movie. Like, our state was really on fire when that... I remember that. I remember. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We start with Perry. John Cena. Yes, it is. Dan Merle. I saw the movie, but I didn't see him. John Cena. <laughs> yes. And prime time. <laughs> Your time is up. My time is now. John Cena. <laughs> yes. And the kid. John Cena. Tied up. Got, there we go. So one point apiece there. All right, Mark, next question. Next question is in the category of horror slash thriller. And the query is, who plays the villainous character Rose the Hat in the film Dr. Sleep? You know, still haven't seen this one, Mark. Oh, I got dude. I, I really do really like it. I know I got the Blu-ray. It's not like a super Freddy Freddy cat kind of movie, but it does have like some shining vibes, especially towards Five, the end. I think you're gonna like it. Four, three, two, one. Pens down, please, and we start with uh, Dan. Rebecca Ferguson. Yeah, that's it. Paul. Rebecca Ferguson. The kid. Rebecca Ferguson. And Harry. Rebecca Ferguson. There we go. Tied up a two here. Tied up at two as we get to the next question in new releases. Action adventure. Action adventure. Who directed the soon to be classic Gemini Man? <laughs> now, why do you gotta take a shot? The movie stinks. I uh, I didn't catch this one, but I'm a huge fan of the star, so how could it possibly let me down? It's not good. And five, four, three. Two, one, we start with Paul Oyama. Ang Lee. Yes. And the kid. Ang Lee. Yep. Dan. Oh, sorry, Perry. Ang Lee. Oh, sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Ang Lee. <laughs> yes. All right. Everybody got it. Three apiece. Okay. Mark. All right. Your next category is in the world of fantasy slash science fiction. And the question is what 2019 hit film? Features characters named Zori Bliss and Babu Frick. Fun question for me to ask. I love weird names. Yeah. Question is, which one do you think is weird? Um, I might name a pet Babu Frick. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. Brendan, pen down. Yeah. What, you got? what do you got? Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker. Yep. You got it. Okay, yep. Perry. Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. And Dan? Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. And Paul. Hey, Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. Got okay. it. All right. So four so feet. I had trouble getting it all down. <laughs> all right. So yeah, now, as long as you had a rise and a Skywalker in there, I'm going to point. Well, we're going to get to the next question, which is comic book movies. Arthur Fleck reads a note from his mother that leads him to believe that which character is his father in Joker? Ooh. You go back and revisit this one. I saw it once and I don't know that I want to watch it again. Seen it three times. Ooh, boy, you you're you're damaged. It was my number one. My number one last year. You're and a deranged individual. I am indeed. Five. It's great filmmaking. Four. Three. Two. One. And we start with Perry. Thomas Wayne? Yes. Dan. Thomas Wayne. Paul. Thomas Wayne. And Brendan. Thomas Wayne. All tied up here at five. Got that one in with lots of time to spare. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have a bunch of perfect rounds going right now. If you get this last question correct, then you're going to be asked a bonus question that is also worth one point. No penalty for missing that one either. But before we get there, your last category is a Patreon question. Thank you to Jeremy Hastings. How about a nice round of applause for Mr. Jeremy Hastings? Thank you, Jeremy, for supporting us during this great time in the world. Uh, Jeremy wanted a category that was animated. So these are movies drawn by hand or on a computer. And Jeremy's question is, what MCU actor voices Walter, the scientific genius that turns Will Smith's character into a pigeon in the animated feature Spies in Disguise? I had no idea what this movie was until I saw the question. And I have I, children interviewed the filmmakers because they were doing the junket at the same time Rise of Skywalker, so I just popped um, in. Super nice. They were awesome. Five. Rooting for the movie. I haven't seen it. Two. One. And Dan for a perfect round? Tom Holland. Yes, perfect round for Dan. Paul? Tom Holland. Perfect round. Brendan? 
Tom Holland. And for a perfect, perfect round, Perry? Tom Holland. Woo! Perfect <laughs> round for everybody. Everybody's getting the bonus, so everybody will have to write on the board. This is the bonus question for everybody here. The championship match doing exactly what we thought it would. <laughs> All right, guys, here's your bonus question. Name the two actors who play divorce lawyers that Adam Driver's character hires at different times in Marriage Story. Oh. Name the two oh. actors who play divorce My dentist's going to die. And hold on. You can use the repeat if you need it. No, I think I'm right. And five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. We start with Paul Oyama. Ray Liotta and Alan Alda. That's correct. Brandon? Alan Alda, Ray Liotta. Yes. Perry? Couldn't remember them both. Oh, and Dan? Alan Alda and Ray Liotta. Wow. So oh, no. That, Perry goes down by one, and both the kid, Dan, and Paul take a lead on the champ here. It is seven, seven, seven to six, but it is far from over as we now get into round number two, Mark. How does that go? So round number two is the wheel round. We don't actually have a wheel here. So the wheel, it, don't worry, it's not electronic. It's just in my noggin. So I can tell you all what the categories are. Once you settle on a category, you're gonna hear four questions in that particular round. Each question is worth two points. There's no penalty for missing a question. However, keep your whiteboards and your pens handy and make sure your pen works because there is stealing available in round number two. So if the competitor misses a question, then everybody else is gonna have a chance to write down their best attempt at an answer. If you're not sure of what the answer is, you can ask us for multiple choice. At that point, the value of the question goes down to a mere point. Christian, who would you think deserves the first you know, shot at the week? You would go with higher ranking here, so you would start with Dan Merle. Okay, Dan, before you uh, before you select a number at random, which is what you're gonna do, you're gonna pick from one to 12, I'm gonna tell you and everybody else what is on that wheel somewhere. Okay. He, so can also defer. he can also defer if he chooses. Yeah. Yes. Uh, in no particular order, the uh, the categories are directors, actresses and actresses, opponents and spinners choice, mixed bag, animated, fantasy, sci-fi, comic book movies, dramas, comedy, and action adventure. All right. So, Dan, would you like to go first or would you like to defer? Uh, I will... I will defer. Okay, you're going to defer, then that would bounce on over to Paul Oyama, who can also choose to either defer or go. Uh, I'm going to defer as well. All right, so now we go to Brendan. You can, either, all, you can you're going to defer. If all your friends <laughs> deferred, would you? Yeah, I'll, defer. I'll defer. You're going to defer. <laughs> so Perry's up. So Perry, okay, you, let's you're, do it. You're, you're going to choose here. Uh, Mark, how many Perry, number from one to twelve? What feels lucky to you? There's only one option: lucky number three. Lucky number, number three, that is the world of comic book movies. Okay. Do you want to keep it or do you want to spin again? I will keep it. All right. I will ask the questions here to Perry. Perry, four questions in the realm of comic book movies. Are you ready for your first one? That I am. Here we go. Perry, what is the term used to refer to the event where people were brought back five years after they were snapped out of existence in Spider-Man Far From Home? I think I'm going to go multiple choice, even though I think I know what it is. And now I'm doubting myself. Multiple choice? Yeah. All right. Is it A, snap, B, flash, C, It's return? the snap. It is not the snap. Uh, oh, I, I would encourage all to listen to all four choices. Oh, I'm going to read all the choices to you guys again. Oh. Perry's missed it. Here it is. It is. Is it A, stupid. snap, B, flash, C, return, or D, blip? And five, four, three, two, one pens down. We start with Dan. A D the blip. That is correct. Dan uh, Paul. <laughs> the blip. Correct. And the kid. Yeah, I had a D in just to make sure blip. That's right. All right. So uh, because of the, steal, the kid, Dan, and Paul go up two here. On um, Perry, we got the next question here. All right. In Hellboy, 
Who plays Vivian Noom, the Blood Queen? Oh. Um, it is uh, Mia Jovovich. That is correct for two points. There it is. Perry gets herself now tied. Eight. She has eight points now. All right, here you go. At the end of Dark Phoenix, oh. the name of the school is changed from Xavier's School for Gifted Youngsters to which other mutant's name? Wow, I regret picking this category now. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna, Five. I kinda just wanna go for it. Four. Jean Grey. That is correct for two points. Right. Big shot it made, by Perry. It made sense. <laughs> Big shot by Perry as she gets herself now. She, this is uh, this is question number four. This is your final question here. Okay. Here we go. Perry, which character in Avengers Endgame said this line? He's pissed. He thinks he failed, which of course he did. But, you know, there's a lot of that going around here, ain't there? It sounds a whole lot like Rocket Raccoon to me. That is correct for two more points. Perry Nemiroff had one stumble mark, one stumble, but she finds herself yeah. in there 12 to 8 to 8 to 8 as that one question. It was just that one question of the blip. Let's hope it wasn't a blip on the actual match. All right. Hey, look at you. Mark, we have now, we have the chain. Now we go back to Dan. You can do the same thing. Dan, you can defer again or you can go. Uh, I will defer one once again. All right, Paul. I will do the same. All right, so now it is now it is Brendan. Brendan is up. All right, uh, number six. All right, Brendan, you have spun the world of dramas. I'll take it. Dramas. He's gonna take dramas. Deja vu. Deja vu. Yeah, I got that in the last one. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, Mark. We'll see. All right, Brendan. These are movies that are somewhat dramatic, and your first question of four for two points. What what job job sorry, sorry, real quick. So you guys, guys, just reminding to the other competitors once again, I know Mark told you, but just to remind you, write down the question, write down your answer as the person is being answered the question, just in case they miss. So you're ready to answer should we need to call on you. All right, Mark. Thank you, Christian. Now your first question. What job does the father of the Kim family get when he is hired by the wealthy Parks in Parasite? He's a driver. That is two points for Brendan Meyer. Point from Brendan Meyer. Getting himself to 10. That's right. All right, Brendan, your second question in the world of dramas that are recently released. Which actor plays Lee Iacocca in Ford v. Ferrari? Got him. Oh. I love hearing the squeaking. It sounds like I'm watching a basketball game. Five. <laughs> Four. Uh, I'll go multiple Three. choice just because I, I don't Two. know like that name. Right. Multiple, multiple choice. choice. Your options are, is it A, Tracy Letts, B, John Bernthal, C, Jason Clark, or D, Josh Lucas? I'm going to go with Berenthal. They named an airport yeah, after him in Detroit, and that is John Oof. Bernthal. Lee Iacocca. Good. Okay. Good. That's by the kid there. Ah. That's what I thought about it, but I could have it could have been Josh Lucas for the same price because I don't remember what his name was, so <laughs> I had to go multiple. Same price. All right, Brendan, your penultimate question in round number two for you. In the world of dramas, Trey Edward Schultz directed this drama about a suburban African American family that has to come together in the aftermath of a loss. Waves. Two points for Brendan Meyer. All right, so Brendan sees himself with a lead here now, 13 to 12, 8 to 8. And this is his final question in his category, Mark. All right, Brendan, you got one more question, possible two points on the line here. Which dramatic film has the following actors in its cast? Tim Roth, Naomi Watts, and Kelvin Harrison Jr. Loose. Look at the kid. Two more points. Two points. The kid coming back there and showing the strong competitor that he is there. 12, 15 for the kid, 12 for Perry, 8 for Dan and Paul. So, Dan, you're up again. Would you like to defer to Paul or are you going to go this time? I, I like to play with as much information as I can, so I will defer to Paul. All right. Dan's going to be waiting to go. Paul is up. Paul, you got to choose your categories here. Uh, I'm going to go with number 11. Number 11, and you have selected animated movies. you want to keep it or do you want to spin again? 
Mm. I am going to spin again. Spin again. All right. All right. Next number. I'm going to go with number four. All right. You have spun Spinner's Choice. Ooh. So you got Spinner's Choice. So I'm going to give you your options, and you tell me which one feels the luckiest to you. Uh, comedy, comic book movie. Actually, comic book movies is off the table. Sorry. Comedy, action adventure, fantasy sci-fi, animated, directors, horror, mixed bag, or actors and actresses? I'm going to go actors and actresses. Roger right. that. Actors and actresses. All right. Paul Paul actors. That's right. All right. Here we go. Going to start here with Paul Oyama. Question number one, Paul. Which actor had supporting roles in the 2019 films Long Shot, Dolomite Is My Name, and Little Women? Bob Odenkirk. That is correct for two points. Wow. Nice pull yeah, nice by Paul Oyama. Great ball. All right, here you go, Paul. Here's your second question. Ozzy Beats had a supporting role in two films released on October 4th, 2019. Joker was one. Which was the other? Five. Four. Multiple choice. Is it A, Lucy in the Sky? B, Little Monsters, C, Seaberg, D, Don't Let Go. I'm going to say Lucy in the Sky. For one point. Oh. One point. Nice. Chris, can we confirmed that that Little Monsters, was that the re-release of the Howie Mandel Fred Savage classic? I really hope it was, because <laughs> I love that one. All right, here we go. Here's your next one. In Ryan Johnson's Murder Mystery Knives Out, which actor plays Jamie Lee Curtis's cheating husband? Uh, Don Johnson. For two points. Oh, Oyama now finding himself getting closer to the kid here. One up on Perry, two away from the kid. All right, so here is your last question here. Here we go. This actor had roles in the films Good Boys, Jojo Rabbit, and Fighting With My Family. Steven Merchant. For two more points. Paul Oyama. Nice round. Got himself there. Look at that. So Perry with 12, the kid with 15, Dan with eight, and Paul Oyama tying up Brendan Meyer with 15. So, Dan, you cannot defer this time. You got to answer the questions. So <laughs> here we go. Um, please choose your number. Uh, let's go with number seven. All right, Dan, you have spun the category of comedy. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take comedy. I'm going to take comedy. All right. Yeah. All right, Dan, you're selecting comedy. A wise cho This is like the first time somebody spun comedy this year, and my picture's on the wedge, and now we don't have the wheel to show. So <laughs> very tough day for me. Dan, hopefully it goes better for you. Your question for two points. Charlize Theron's character has what position in the U.S. government before she decides to run for U.S. president in long shots? Secretary of State. Two points for Dan Merle. Two points for Dan. All right, Dan. Uh, your next question, again, in the world of ha-has and yuck-yucks. <laughs> Which alumni from the film Watchmen plays Kate Blanchett's husband in the film, Where Do You Go, Bernadette? Billy Crudup. The best Steve Prefontaine ever captured on celluloid. It is Billy Crudup. And Dan, Ooh, sees nice. Himself, nice. Dan sees himself tied with Perry there. Now it is Perry 12, Dan 12, and both the kid and Paul with 15. All right, Dan, your penultimate question in the world of comedies. In Charlie's Angels, there are various actors and actresses that have the designation of Bosley. Name two of them. Ooh. This is obviously the most recent release. How would multiple choice work on this? Is these, I'm going to give you a series of names and you tell me which okay. one. I, I will go to multiple choice. Then. All right. Okay. Your options are. Is it A, Elizabeth Banks and Paula Patton, 
B, Patrick Stewart and James Marsden, C, Jamon Hunsu and Elizabeth Banks, or D, Ronda Rousey and Patrick Stewart? Uh, B. That is incorrect. All right, we're going to give you guys so do, do our choices have to be from the multiple choice options? You, or they gonna, yeah, you have to choose mm -hmm. from either A, B, C, or D, which you're about to get here in a sec. Okay. Yeah, I'll give you uh, your options. Damn. More Damn. Is it A, Elizabeth Banks and Paula Patton, B, Patrick Stewart and James Marsden, C, Jamon Hunsu and Elizabeth Banks, or D, Ronda Rousey and Patrick Stewart? Okay. All right, we start with Perry. C. That's correct for one. Oh. All right, uh, Paul. This might be hard to read, but it's. I, I also had C. Yeah, I, I realize you can't read that. I don't know. I guess it's an honor system thing. I, up, my marker is like dying. I can't see it, but I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask. Uh, I'm gonna ask Dan if if he'll if, if, he'll if you don't that. want to. That's okay. I understand. I tried to write it. My marker is like running out. Um, as you can see, I trust or him. Can't see. Right. I guess Dan, Dan trusts him, so he's, we're gonna give we're gonna give him the point here. And, uh, uh, I was wrong. I was wrong. And the so kid didn't have it. Point. So Perry picks up a point here. So Perry has 13. The kid 15. Dan 12. Paul does pick up a point and goes over the lead here. Can you give me like 10 seconds to get another marker? Just real yeah, quick. Go, go ahead. All right. Uh, last question here for Dan, Mark. What's, That's oh. right. Isn't it? Last question. Yeah. One. The world two, of comedy, two. Dan. Last mm -hmm. question. Your question. In Jojo Rabbit, why is Jojo given the mocking nickname of Jojo Rabbit? Because he refuses to kill a rabbit. Two points for Dan Merle. All right. So now, at the end of it, we find ourselves very, very close. And this is just round number two here. Remember, five rounds in this championship match. The champion, Perry Nemiroff, 13. The kid, 15. Dan Merle, 14. And primetime Paul Oyama finds himself in the lead here. Ooh. 16 points as we get to round number three, the betting round. Mark, how does that go? All right. Each competitor is going to wager a series of points. You can wager as many as three. You can wager as little as zero. You can also wager one or two if you want. Here's how the betting round works. Once you settle on your wager, I'm going to give you a category that's determined by a spin from whoever's in the lead. So Paul is going to be giving that number. Once we settle on the category at that point, you can write down how much you bet, how confident you are in that category. We'll ask you a question. And the question is to the field. So you write down your best attempt at an answer. If your question answer is correct, you gain as many points as you bet. If you miss it, you lose as many points as you bet. So bet wisely. Point All of right. clarification, do we get the category before we bet, right? Just yes, you do. Okay. Yes. And you are actually, you're, so you're in the lead there, Paul. So you're going to choose the the category here, Mark. So how many numbers again? I'm sorry. Uh, it is 10 total categories, Paul. Um, pick whatever one feels lucky. What number you got? I'm going to go with nine. All right, Paul has spun animated. All right, so hey. animated. So please, after hearing animated, how many points do you want to wager? And you can just write down the wager on your. Uh, on so your we whiteboard. just have it, keep it on the board during the answer, yeah. basically. Yes. Yeah. yes, please. All right, so when you are ready, we are going to be asking this question. I start with Perry. Are you ready? Dan. Dan. Yes, I am ready. Paul. Yeah. And Brendan. Mm -hmm. All right, then here we go, guys. Here is your question. Nicki Minaj, Peter Dinklage, Sterling K. Brown, Aquafina, and Maya Rudolph are just some of the cast in this recent animated film. I am not looking, and I have no idea. Five, four, three. Can you repeat the question? Yes, I can. That's the first one for Perry. And Nicki Minaj, Peter Dinklage, Sterling K. Brown, Aquafina, and Maya Rudolph are just some of the cast in this recent animated film. Oh, wait a second. I have a guess and I'm gonna look it I'm gonna look it up. Oh. Five, four, three. Repeat the question. All right, here's Paul's first. Nicki Minaj, Peter Dinklage, Sterling K. Brown. Aquafina and Maya Rudolph are just some of the cast in this recent animated film. Damn, my marker is terrible. <sighs> Who's got the best internet connection? Five, Who's got the best markers? Four. Three. Two. Repeat, please. Repeat. Oh, yep, there you go. All right. 
Nicki Minaj, Peter Dinklage, Sterling K. Brown, Aquafina, and Maya Rudolph are just some of the cast in this recent animated film. You know, it's funny. Even though it's this exhibition, it still feels like a live event. Like <laughs> that kind of pressure. I'm nervous, Christian. You can't Ew. see because the jacket's so shiny, but it's Great sweaty. Question. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. All right. Now, no, do not, Mark, I'm, I'm not going to say the answer to the question until the very end here. Mm -hmm. So start with Perry. How many uh, points? I bet two points. And I'm you not, said, so, not so confident. You said, what is, you said Angry Birds 2, okay? Yeah. All right. Dan, how many points? I bet two. Okay. And you said? I guess incorrect. I said Trolls World 2. All right. That's what Dan said. Okay. And Perry, uh, excuse me, not Perry. Uh, Paul, how many points? I bet three. And you said? The Angry Birds Movie 2. Hmm. Okay. And the kid? Uh, I only bet one, and I said Frozen 2. All right. So, both Dan and the kid are wrong. Yeah. Perry and wow. both get the point. Nice. nice. Watched it last night. Let's go. Oh, Let's go. Find oh, this oh man. 15. The it kid came up when I was studying, but I... The kid has, loses 14. Dan had lost two there, right? Dan lost two. Yes, I did. Dan now has 12. And Paul Oyama finds himself now with 19 points. So Perry is now in second place with 15. The kid, 14. Dan finds himself in last at the moment with 12. And Paul Oyama, Ooh. points. <laughs> oh. What a round that was, Mark. So now we get to the speed round. Here it is. Round four. I had a busy week, Christian. <laughs> <laughs> you did indeed, my friend. And uh, everybody, make sure you go subscribe to Dan Merle's brand new YouTube channel. I don't know what he's talking about on it, but maybe he'll have a bloody mouth during one of his <laughs> movie reviews. Uh, but he still has a chance to get back in the match, as does Brendan here, currently led by primetime Paulo Yama, Perry Nemiroff, not far behind. This is the speed round, and this is where your internet connection is really going to uh, help. You have to bump okay. in with your name. So as All soon right. as you can ask the question, if you think you know it, yell your name. And I will select whoever I heard yell their name first. Now, once I say your name back to you, you have two points. Two points. Two oh, seconds. all I have to do is yeah. say my name. <laughs> <laughs> name. You get two points. How, oh, how nice great. Uh, two <laughs> seconds. Uh, it's going to go one Mississippi, two Mississippi. If you get the correct answer within that time period, you get a point. If you miss the question or you get it right but not within the two-second window, you lose a point. All right, question number one, everybody. Here we go. Who directed Terminator? Paul. Uh, Brendan. Uh, Paul. Tim Miller. Oh. Yes. Uh. Yes. Yes. He, he, got, he got you by yeah, the hair. No, it's fair. No, no, I'm not complaining. Go. I'm going, oh. Yeah. <laughs> got All, right. Got All right, here we go. Next question. Name the movie with the following characters. Ransom Drysdale. Harry. Yes. Nice out. Yes. That is cool. Right. There we go. Well done. Well done. Nice. Damn. All right. Anna, here we go. Next question. Anna Tyler Joy. Anna Taylor Joy reprised her role. Brendan. As Brendan. Paul. Brendan. That's Brendan. Glass. Yes. All right. Brendan yeah. gets that one. Shit. Question four. Question four. Who portrayed the titular Hellboy in Brendan. two? Oh, damn. Harry said. David Harry. Harbor. That's right. Oh. Oh, damn, I thought it was fast. All right. Last question here. Last question. Who plays the grown Danny Torrance? Perry. In Dan. Oh, Perry. Perry. Yes, Perry got it. Ooh. Wow. Perry wow. has a hell of a speed round. I round. thought I was going to be the worst at that. But you Perry, the title match. Damn. You were the best. You were the best there as we see Perry with 18, Ooh. the kid with 15, Dan Merle with 12, and Paul Oyama 20. But the champion only finds herself two down after being down in the first round. What a comeback here by Perry Nemiroff as we get into the fifth and final round. Yeah, Christian, this is where Perry's distance running training really helps her. <laughs> I imagine each competitor is going to give us a series of numbers. We need three numbers from each one of your mouths. Once we settle on the numbers, you're going to get a category that is assigned to that number. Your questions, your first question is worth two points. Your next question is worth three points. Your last one, should we make it that far, is worth five big points. There are 16 categories in round number five. So every number you select has to be from one to 16. No competitor can select the same number. So Paul, which three numbers from one to 16 
feel lucky to you? I'm going to go 7, 15, and 2. 7, 15, okay. and 2 for prime time. We now go to Scary Perry Nemiroff. I'm sticking with 3. Then I'll go with 6 and 13. 3, 6, and 13 for the champ and the kid. Uh, 1, 9, and 8. 1, 9, and 8. And then Dan? Uh, let's see. I will go with 16. Uh, I'm just trying to make sure I don't pick one that's already been picked. Uh, five and 11. 16 and five. 16, five, and 11 for the Movie Trivia Schmodown teams and singles champion. Those look like good fourth place numbers to me. Then again, <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to start right now. Dan, if you're ready to go, we're going to start with number 16. I can't promise how ready to go I am, but I'll answer the question. <laughs> 16 is directors. Which Ooh. Oscar which Oscar winning director directed the musical Cats? <laughs> Tom Hooper. Two points. My Lord and Savior. Tom. All right. So Dan, you still have to answer your three in order to get ahead of the kid here. You chose category number five. Category number five is animation. All right. Who provides the voice, sorry, in animation, who, provide, who provides the voice of Morticia Adams in the 2019 animated version of The Adams Family? Charlize Theron. That's right, for three points. Dan Merle gets himself out of TKO range, and now he forces the hand of the kid mm. who will have to hit both his two-pointer and his, well, no, he has to hit his two-pointer and his three-pointer. All right, so here is the oh, next. Uh, oh, yeah. All right, kid. You ready to go? Sure. Let's do it. You selected number one for your two-point question, and that corresponds to, sorry, Perry, Brendan got there first, the category of horror movies. Okay. And your question is, which horror thriller franchise had a sequel released in 2019 with the subtitle Uncaged? Oh, shoot, because it's... Uh... I could mess it. I could uh, 47 meters down. Got it. All right, you got it. So uh, my brain first thought 27 and I went, oh, <laughs> sees himself tied with Dan, uh, but now he needs to hit okay. his pointer. <laughs> All right, Brendan, um, sticking with you for your three point question, you selected category number nine. And unfortunately, that is not shark movies. <laughs> it is actually dramas. Oh man, well, we'll see, we'll see. Your question, for three points. In the drama film, Just Mercy, mm -hmm. out of the main cast members, how many have been in an MCU film? <sighs> okay, well, define main cast members, the top three? Um, I just don't know what the main cast members would be, The main be, cast right? members are gonna be anybody who's billed in the opening credits. Oh, geez. So there's a variety, but if it's like an extra or somebody who has like one line, then then we're not counting. Oh, okay. Oh, geez. So uh, we're gonna and, give MCU, you and by MCU, you mean, just to clarify again, MCU, you mean in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, not Correct. a Marvel film, right? Correct. Okay. Uh... And five, four, three, two, uh, one. I'll go with two, but I might be forgetting someone. Looking for three. Who was another person? Brie Larson, Michael B. Jordan, and... And Tim Blake Nelson. Oh, I thought of him, and then I didn't Tim think Blake long Nelson. enough. Wait, which Marvel movie? Sorry, I, I thought, which Marvel movie is he in? Incredible Hulk. Oh, yeah. the very Incredible original one. Oh, geez. Oh, I know. I, I know. He's the other guy that got in my head, but I wasn't convinced he was... Okay, great. All right, Brandon, for five points and to stay alive in the match, you selected category number eight, and that corresponds to the world of Oscar movies. Okay. You watched this year's ceremony. I did. I did. Okay. It might help you because your question. Uh. Excluding Parasite, name any of the other four nominees for best foreign language film this year. Just need one. Oh. Uh, how am I? Oh, this is like so embarrassing. Five. Uh, repeat the question. I no. Second one. I can do that. Excluding Parasite. Oh. Uh, Name one of the other four nominees for best foreign language film this year. Invisible Life? 
That is incorrect. Oh, and with that, darn. I thought Brandon was Meyer has been eliminated. That's so rough. What were the other ones? My brain uh, just short circuited. It was uh, Corpus Christi, Honeyland, okay. Les Miserables, Forsama, and Pain and Glory. Oh, you know what? Gee, oh, wait, was that four? Oh, yeah. You know what? I, that was much trickier than I thought. Pain and Glory was the only one of those that I saw. Well, mm -hmm. Brendan Meyer, That's thank tough. you for Ooh. being in the match. You thank you. Stick around if you want afterwards for the post oh. interview. But Brendan Meyer has been eliminated here, guys. So we are left with dangerous Dan Merle, Perry Nemiroff, primetime. Dan Merle will have to hit his five in order to stay in this thing before Perry and Paul will start answering questions here because the kid is out. Dan has 17, Perry 18, and Paul with 20. All right, Dan. You chose number 11, Family Films. Family Films. All right, here you go. In Toy Story 4, we are introduced to three soldiers known as Combat Carls that are always asking for high fives. Which sports film veteran voices Combat Carl? There's a voice in the back of my head that keeps saying that it's Carl Weathers. Five so points for Dan Merle. Lando! Dan good one. <laughs> does it and pulls the championship pull and finds himself now with a big lead. He has now 22 points and he has done it. It is now time for Perry Nemiroff to answer her <sighs> two pointer. All right, so Perry, you chose for your two pointer number three. Number three, crime movies. Ugh. Crime movies. <laughs> All right, Perry, which actor plays Jimmy Hoffa in The Irishman? Um, Al Pacino. Two points. So Perry is Perry is tied it up. If I uh, had to get one crime movie. That was the one. Now we're gonna bounce to Paul. Paul. Yeah. Paul chose number seven, Mark. He did, Christian, and Joe Theismann's number corresponds to the world of biopics. Biopics, Paul, and if you get this correct, you're gonna tie Dan Merle on top of the leaderboard with 22 points. Your question, for two points in the world of biopics, in the film Richard Jewell, which Academy Award winner plays Richard's mother, Bobby? Kathy Bates. Two points, we're tied at the top, Christian. All right, so it is 22 for Dan, 22 for Paul, and Perry now is going to have to answer her three points to take a lead over both Dan and Paul. Perry, you chose six, category six. It's comedy, comedy. Okay, Perry, which comedy has this tagline? You must be this tall to see this movie. Good boys. And with that, Dan Merle has been eliminated. Perry Nemiroff eliminating Dan Merle. 23 points now for Perry. Dan Merle coming back there, but just not enough there to catch up to Perry. Dan, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. And now the final two. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the champion, Perry Nemiroff against primetime Paul Oyama. Perry Nemiroff has her three, excuse me, has her five-pointer left. Paul Oyama has both his three and his five. Needs to hit his three here in order to force the hand of Perry Nemiroff. Okay, Christian. Paul Oyama stepping up to the plate here for the three-pointer. Paul, you selected number 15. Yep. The three-pointer. And that corresponds to, I think we're, we have an exhibition match in this category coming up, romantic comedies or rom-coms. And your question for three points and to regain the lead over Perry, in the 2019 romance film, Five Feet Apart, due to their cystic fibrosis genetic disorder, how far away must patients be from each other? Six feet. Very timely question. And the answer is correct. Wow. Six feet is Impressive pull by Paul Oyama. And now Perry Nemiroff finds herself having a scrap to defend her title. If she hits the five pointer, she now forces the hand of Paul Oyama to win the championship. However, if she misses this question, Paul Oyama has won the new release exhibition 
championship. Perry, you chose 13. Don't be mixed bag. <laughs> How about sports movies? Eh, all right. Sports movies. Sports movies here. Um, this is category number 13 with the sports. Here we go. In fighting with my family, Soraya chooses the wrestling stage name Paige, which is taken from her favorite character on which television show? Oh, crap. Two repeats left. All right. Five, four, three, two. Repeat the question. Okay, this is your second one. In fighting with my family, Soraya chooses the wrestling stage name Paige, taken from her favorite character on which TV show? <laughs> I'm sorry. Five, four, three, two. Repeat the question. Last one. In fighting with my family, Soraya chooses the wrestling stage name Paige, taken from her favorite character on which TV show? This is it, Mark. I don't think I'm I'm gonna pull it, but I feel like it's something in this vein. I don't know why I want to say Daria right now. And your winner and new movie trivia showdown, new release champion, primetime, Paul Oyama. The answer was charm. Charm. Oh, oh I should have gotten that. Oh. Answer. But hold on real quick. Primetime, Paul Oyama is the new release champion. Congratulations to Paul doing it beating what a stack and you almost didn't make it in you almost yeah. didn't in here you had bad markers that was a long con that was a long con and the whole thing so i'm going to bring back the uh the other contestants here oops i'll bring back the other contestants here and what a match it was mark we had uh a battle for the ages and what yeah. you got to give perry nemer off credit there she was she was looked like she was out on her feet in that first one nearly mm takes it at the end there but primetime paul oyama taking the new release championship yeah christian it, it was really a barn burner between all four competitors dan with a sterling comeback there in round number five i'm being told that uh we're actually penalizing paul five points for tardiness so now perry actually <laughs> <started. laughs> i'll answer the five i'll answer the five if i have to um paul, i, 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 I want to start with you uh, did you see five feet apart or did you pull six feet just because that's what the social distancing uh, general consensus has been in this crazy time we live in? Yeah. Um, so Haley Richardson is a treasure to us all. So I did <laughs> see five feet apart in the theater. Um, that is kind of what helped me out. I, I just obviously I know it wouldn't be five feet. That would be a little too obvious, I think. <laughs> um, so I just had to think my way around that. But yeah, I was excited. I was like, I got a movie that I have seen. So I was excited and hope, yeah, I pulled it up. Yeah, and I have to put it, Perry. So you had started out, I mean, a little shaky. We missed that question. Well, not shaky, just that had that one question at the end that you missed, and everybody took the lead. Did you, how'd you talk yourself back into it? Did you know, did you just shake it off? Like, how, how were you feeling after that first round? I mean, it, it was fun. <laughs> like, yeah. I was schmitzing the entire time, but I had a good time. So once I got past the whole blip, th I'm mad about that. But I feel better that I missed the last question because if it was just on the blip, I would have been really pissed at myself. No, it was a hell of a performance. And then Dan, that five pointer there at the end, <laughs> that pure guess there, or you just uh That was a strong hunch. Yeah. Uh I, I just I sometimes because I saw Toy Story 4 one time and I remember that character. And something sometimes it's you just if if your brain's telling you something, you just gotta say it. And something mm -hmm. as soon as I heard Combat Carl, I don't know why, but my brain said Carl Weathers. So I just said Carl Weathers. <laughs> And, it was a hell of a pull. Was a hell yeah, of a pull. I, I, I'm shocked that my 30 minutes of frantic cramming right before this match began didn't pay off. <laughs> but it did get me Charlie Theron because I did not know who that was. Oh, that was literally awesome. the last movie I looked at before then. But uh -huh. yeah, man, I hate losing. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Brendan Meyer, you also you fought really, really good there too. And I, I and I, we know how much you love Oscar movies. Is it? Oh a bit man, there to, to sink on the on the Oscars. Yeah, it sucks. I, I, and I'm, I'm, I swear to God, any other year that would have been a layup for me, but it's a bit tricky. And I just, you know, I didn't even use all my repeats. I, I got so in my head that that wasn't right at the tip of my 
Like I totally panicked. But what's tough is that a lot of these movies on their poster, they'll put official selection yeah. for the Oscar. So in Invisible Life, because I was panicking, I remembered the poster and I'm like, oh, that had foreign language nominee on its poster. I'm, I know that's it. And it was not. Well, there we go. So Paul Oyama taking his championship, a new championship in, in exhibition there. And he's got it. Perry, you got to come back very, very soon. We're going to see you soon for Jurassic Park, defending your Jurassic Park championship. I promised you something, Christian. I told you I would never say no to Jurassic Park, to new yeah. release. And also, I don't want to put you on the spot, but if there's ever a Scream exhibition match, you have my word. I am in. I can make that happen. Ooh. I know I know a few people that would be very interested to do just that. But I would like to thank all of you guys once again I, and i thank dan already for this um beforehand it is really it's something we wanted to make sure this is for patrons right now and i wanted to make sure that patrons were, were being able to get stuff during this time and the fact that all you guys are willing to do this having fun doing this i can't thank you enough mark can't thank you enough and the the audience in general thank you guys so much you guys are awesome you help build the league the way it is we, we obviously cannot do this without strong competitors like yourselves so thank you very very much from the bottom of my heart and from all the patrons out there hell of a match thank you it was fun yeah all right. that's cool that's all awesome. right so i'm going to thank everybody here mark whoops not you i need you <laughs> i gotta get rid of that guy hey. there we go <laughs> sorry about that thank you to everybody thank you guys so much for that mark we uh we did it we got uh we got yet another match in here what a hell of a match it was Every, they all fought back and they're all so damn good at new releases I'm just look. Well, it maybe I'm going to knock on wood here, but I am just so impressed with the professionalism of everybody who is competing yep. in these matches. They, they they know when to hit their moments. They know when to back off. Uh, everybody is, is playing with a sense of humor about the situation, but you also get to see some real good movie trivia competition. You know, I was looking at Perry's face right before you asked that five point question, and it's like you think, okay, Perry, did you miss the schmodown at all? And I know she was she was nervous but she handled the nerves so well and the rust got shaken off almost immediately. Great. So Perry Nemiroff, whoever has the unfortunate pleasure of playing her in the Jurassic Park match, you better look out. You guys can tell you right now who that's going to be. She's going to be going up against the, the, the amazing, absolutely incredible Iron Man match between her and Cody Hall. Well, Cody's coming back and it's going to be her versus Cody. And we have a new, we have a ringer. The Barbarian is going to throw his hat into the Jurassic Park triple threat match there, too. So the three of those guys going at it. And the other thing you mentioned with Perry, um, Perry has these strengths. And I also think that I would, in the actual league, it's something we've talked about. I think that if Perry has the right partner, you see what she does when she has new releases on the wheel or mm -hmm. a lot of different directors and actors. I think Perry can absolutely be a force, whether it's this season or next season. But I'm happy to have them all back. It's really nice to have them here. And it's happy to be doing this with you here, too, buddy. Thank you once again. Yeah, my man, it, it's going to be fun. We got a lot more exciting exhibition matches for you all to digest very soon. For all the Jeremy Hastings of the world, thank you for your continued support of the movie Trivia Schmodown. Uh, lots of questions still remain. Is, is Cody Hall going to wear a Tom Brady Tampa Bay Buccaneers jersey? We have so much to digest the next couple weeks, maybe months. We don't know how long we're in this, but we're in this all together. So thank you guys for tuning in. Oh, Perry, wear that dinosaur costume. That's what I want to know. All right, guys, with that, thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.